In terms of air pollution, Delhi is one of the most polluted cities in the country. In fact, according to the WHO, the World Health Organization, it is the most polluted major city in the world. And this air pollution is pretty much similar in other Indian cities as well. This causes the death of over 10 lakh people every year. Now, just last year in November, we have what is now infamously known as the Great Smog in Delhi. Now, particulate matter 2.5 and 10 is the real killer in the air. That's the real pollutants. And those levels reach to the roof. While safe limits of these pollutants are set at 60 and 100 micrograms per cubic meter, both PM2.5 and PM10 levels exceeded 999 micrograms, which incidentally is also the maximum readout that the machine that detects these pollutants is able to detect. Now some of us do have some sort of air purification system in the house or at least we have an air conditioner. Now a car on the other hand, even though it does have an AC system, it is a little more or in fact a lot more exposed to the elements. You put your window down and you drive, you open the door, a lot more outside air does get through which is why it's very important to have an air purification system inside your car because the AC can only deal with so much dirty air. Which is why today we are going to open up this Honeywell Move pure car air purifier and install it. But first, let's see what the box actually holds. Now the box itself is a very cleanly designed box. It's almost like an Apple product. You have a set of instructions, how to install, and the actual air purifier itself. Now the box also has some accessories inside, mainly the 12 volt cable or 12 volt charger cable that is plugged into the cigarette lighter of your car and the other side actually goes into the uh, air purifier itself and you get some sticky tabs. So well, now that we've shown you what's in the box, let's actually go and install it in the car. And it's actually really simple. Remember those sticky tabs we showed you earlier? Well, they get installed on the bottom here and here. And then this whole unit goes on the dashboard and it plugs into your cigarette lighter. Now the first thing to do is actually get a rough position. So plug it in and you have to place it on the dashboard to see where it will fit. Now one of the biggest and most important things to uh, look out for here is never install it on the airbag area. So especially where it's an SRS airbag on the dashboard, you must never install this on that because then the airbag is basically useless. Now these are the sticky tabs that we talked about earlier and they are basically two-sided tape. So first thing you have to do is take off one side on each and install it on the bottom. Before you actually put it on the dashboard, always remember to wipe it down a little bit with some uh, cloth and some general water to make sure that there is no residue, there's no dust on the dashboard that can actually make this sticky tape useless. All you need to do is just apply some pressure so that the uh, double tape takes some time to get stuck to the actual surface. Now, all this extra wire can be actually plucked into uh, or just sort of put into the dash, into the glove box, or you can just put another clip on it and roll it up so you can just hide it below. But the glove box is a better solution. So now that we've installed this in the car, it's good to go. So stay tuned for our detailed review very very soon.